Life in kitchen, working in kitchen can be all easy having this roti pressing machine which is super light in weight, easy to carry, easy to handle, asking very little space in the kitchen cabinet. Um, this is made out of wood, being eco-friendly, no electricity, no power, no batteries needed uh, to operate, just the pressure of your hand that makes it even better that you can carry it along wherever you want. It works excellent using these butter paper as lining um, there are there are two that needs to be placed on both sides this roti pressing machine can be used to make variety of dishes like puris chapatis parathas rotis holge and also tali pettu which is vadappi um, different ways on how to get it right so here i am making sorikai vadappi which is dudi tali pettu um, bottle guard flatbread. I'm using a good size of dudi, grating it in a big size plate as I'm going to use the same plate to knead the dough. Uh, the water content will remain in the plate which is what we are looking for rather than using a chopping board. Um, it's better to do it this way. I have grated it using thick side grater and um, adding in a teaspoon of sesame seeds, a teaspoon of green chili paste, salt to taste and using a fork is better to combine it well. This recipe is my co-sister Veenaka's recipe. It turned out to be extremely delicious that you should give it a try. After a good mix, adding in a cup of jawar flour which is jolid hittu, jawar ka aata, half a cup of rice flour, akke hittu, chawal ka aata, half a cup of wheat flour, gode hittu, uh, gehu ka aata, and one fourth cup of basin, which is gram flour, kadle bele hitu. That's it. I combine all of it together using my hand. And only and only if you feel the need of adding in water, you should. The water content in dudi is sufficient to make the dough. I sprinkled in very little water. Uh, the dough should be just soft enough. Uh, I allow it to rest for an hour or so. Uh, when it's lunchtime, all I do is place just one butter paper at the bottom and use a cling film on the other side. I spread oil on the sheet and on the cling film as well. Using just a ball size, scooping out the dough, making a ball and then flattening it down. Uh, with very little pressure, pressing it down. A little knob makes it all easy to lift up. It's important to turn the sides and press it down again in which way the dough will spread evenly. I do it on all four sides with very little pressure of making tali pettu. It works really well if you are using a flat tawa, a flat pan. Uh, with very little oil on the pan, I place the sheet upside down and using the spatula, you need to smear on top. Uh, with the heat passing, the butter paper can be easily lifted and I add in little oil on top and at the side. It becomes a lot easy to work on your own using this roti pressing machine and multitasking, rolling and flipping and also serving. Using a cling film on top to make tali petu works the best in which way the two butter sheets can be used one after the other, uh, keeping the other tali petu rolled and ready, making it fast and quick. This recipe can be done even in the morning rush hour and even when you are having guests at home, impressing them with authentic home cooked food. It tastes just awesome on its own that I didn't feel the need of having any accompaniment along with it. This roti pressing machine can be used on a regular basis, on an everyday basis for making pulkas and chapatis as well. I prefer making pulkas on this which turns out to be uh, like daba style pulkas, slightly thick and chewy. I have the chapati ka atta ready that I use two butter sheets uh, for this above and below. No need to dust flour. Uh, these sheets work good when greased with oil than flour. 
So if you feel the need, just smear very little oil as and when needed, uh, not for every chapati. We are using the same technique of pressing and rotating and pressing on all four sides and then removing the top sheet to place the bottom sheet on the pan. I make pulkas on the days when I am having very busy day and when it's done on the pan, uh, placing the pulkas to fluff up on the gas directly. When pulkas can be done this quick with no effort and very less time needed, um, making a sabzi can be all easy. Now this is how I clean using a kitchen towel and wiping and dusting and cleaning it just dry clean, no water needed to clean it at all. And in regards to the sheets, it works extremely well when they are slightly greasy. So I wash them once a fortnight, um, not on a regular basis. I roll them and keep them together to be used on a regular basis, on an everyday basis. I have made moong dal palakki sabzi with apple pickle and pulkas uh, for tonight's dinner. The following day, I am making karat vadapi using my roti pressing machine for which I am measuring 1 cup of wheat flour which is gode hittu, gehu ka aata, 1 cup of jawar flour which is jolid hittu, jawar ka aata, 1 cup of rice flour which is akke hittu, chawal ka aata. This measurement is sufficient for 3 people. I add in salt to taste, 3 teaspoons of Kashmiri red chilli powder. 3 teaspoons of cumin powder which is jeera powder, jeer ke pudi, a teaspoon of sesame seeds, yellow, til. Combining it well with water to knead a dough. We want this dough to be just like chapati hittu, covering it up uh, to rest at least for an hour. In the meantime, I am making tomato pappu which is a great combination with karad vadapi for which I have 4 large tomatoes chopped, 1 small onion chopped, I have half a cup of tur dal that is washed and soaked in water uh, which is ready in the cooker and to this I also add in one garlic clove, onions and tomatoes into it to be pressure cooked for two whistles. In a pot adding in a teaspoon of oil, mustard seeds, three garlic cloves, curry leaves, dal water and then I mush up the tur dal and the veggies that were added with the help of the back of the ladle, a teaspoon of homemade garam masala, haldi, salt to taste, tamarind water, a teaspoon of green chilli paste, a tablespoon of grated coconut and coriander leaves. This papu is very satisfying. It tastes really good with rice, chapati and karad vada pea. The pressing machine can also be used in making the normal puris which is Godi Hittin Puri uh, using wheat flour. Um, I just wanted to share this recipe which tastes really good. Pinching in a small size to make puris and with very little pressure is all that we need to flatten it down. In a small pan, I have oil for deep frying. This is Karat Vadapi, home recipe that we have been following for generations. Um, the bottom of the Vadapi remains quite thick layer and the top layer is thin. It is really good when eaten hot. Uh, when it's cold, it turns out to be slightly chewy. But if you're planning to try this recipe at home, I thought it's better to let you all know. The roti pressing machine makes it a lot easy that you can uh, plan this recipe when you're having guests at home. Having this roti pressing machine at home makes it easier for even men at home to make all kinds of rolling recipes that even they can do it uh, by just pressing the dough. 
I'm planning to buy one for Shreya as well this time when I visit India. Arunaka sent this to me as she bought it from her friend Swapna who sells this roti pressing machine. Uh, here is her contact number that you can either call or leave a message on WhatsApp to buy. Uh, the cost of this roti maker is Rs 1200 plus courier charges. Butter paper cost is Rs 120 per sheet. They do not have cash on delivery option facility. The payment can be made on Google Pay or Phone Pay and share the screenshot with her uh, on this number displayed on screen. I'm also leaving a link for you all uh, in the, uh, the details in the description box. Um, now I'm making a stuffed aloo paratha uh, with oil in a pan, one big onion which is finely chopped, four garlic cloves crushed, two carrots grated, curry leaves that I have finely chopped, four medium sized potatoes boiled and mashed, one eighth teaspoon of turmeric, salt to taste, a teaspoon of green chilli paste, a teaspoon of amchur powder, half a fresh lime, coriander leaves. This is the stuffing that uh, will go in the paratha. Until it cools down, I am grating a beetroot to make beetroot raita with coriander leaves, salt, low fat natural yogurt from Asda, with a teaspoon of cumin powder beautiful natural color of the beetroot now important to bear in mind when making stuffed paratha the dough shouldn't be too soft nor it should be too hard if it is too soft there is a possibility that you might get the stuffing out when pressed pressing the ball to this point perfect enough to fill in the stuffing i smear in very little oil and then place the dough in the center with very little pressure not much pressing down and then flipping it and turning and pressing from all four sides you'll be able to get a nice big stuffed paratha with a good stuffing filled in you will need oil at the bottom and to make these parathas even children can make these parathas using the pressing machine it's that easy I'm having lots of ideas coming into my head, my mind, making different varieties of good stuffing parathas now. The following day, I'm making akki roti and alsandi kalu palya. With everything ready and chopped, I add in a tablespoon of oil in a pot, uh, mustard seeds, curry leaves, three garlic cloves, one big onion diced, two garlic cloves crushed, one tomato diced, washed, soaked in water overnight and then cooked for three whistles are these black eyed beans alsande kalu lobia i add in salt to taste one eighth teaspoon of turmeric powder a teaspoon of kashmiri red chili powder a teaspoon of homemade garam masala jaggery to taste letting it to boil nicely until the grains absorb all the masalas within them we are also ensuring this sabzi has the curry consistency uh, the water should not be completely drained and then I add in a tablespoon of coconut and coriander leaves. Meanwhile, I measure in two cups of akke hitu and keep it ready. With the palya now ready, in a pot I measure in uh, using the same cup with two glasses of water. When it starts to bubble, I add in salt and a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Give a stir and then add the measured rice flour. Giving it a good mix. This recipe is again my co-sister Vinaka's recipe. She herself is a great cook and does excellent cooking. With very little water on hand, uh, keeping it wet, I combine the whole making a dough. I ensure to keep the dough covered so that it doesn't dry up. Smearing very little oil on two sheets, uh, just occasionally as and when it's needed, uh, just for an easy roll. 
I cover up the dough with butter paper on both sides. I place the sheet on the pan and parallelly roll one after the other, um, smearing in oil to make a kirote. Super soft to eat and quite tasty. Uh, that can be eaten hot or cold. They taste really good. There are far more other recipes that can be made using this roti pressing machine, which are healthy, tasty and easy to make, uh, which I will share in another video. Making any kind of flat bread rotis is quite time consuming, asking a lot of time in the kitchen. But having this pressing machine is a lifesaver in the kitchen. It works the best in making the most tedious jolid roti, karak roti, sajji roti very easy that I have already shared um, in my videos. I'm linking up those videos at the end of this video uh, for you all to have a look at. I really hope you found this video super useful and informative on how and where to buy including the cost. Seller is based in India. If any of you or your family member traveling to India, you can buy it um, and then carry it home. Um, that is what we had done. Happy pressing and saving time in the kitchen. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell notification to watch the video as soon as it is posted. Thank you all for watching this video in full.